Hey first graders, it's Mrs. Daniel from Citizenship Academy, and today we're going to work on Module 6, Lesson 2. Let's look at our objective. Solve, compare with bigger or smaller unknown problem types. What was the story that went with this tape diagram yesterday? Here's the tape diagram. Who remembers what the problem was that we learned about? I remember R for Rose and N for Nikel. And I remember that Rose wrote eight letters and Nikel wrote 12 letters. They both wrote letters. Rose wrote eight letters, Nikel wrote 12 letters. How many more letters did Nikel write than Rose? We also answered how many fewer letters Rose wrote than Nikel and how many letters they wrote in all. They both wrote eight letters. <clears throat> so Rose wrote eight letters, Nikel wrote four more letters than Rose. If Rose wrote eight letters, Nikel wrote four more, how many letters did Nikel write? So you're going to add 8 plus 4, 12. So if you add the 2, that's where you get your answer. 8 plus 4 equals 12. Let's look at another problem. Ben solved 6 math problems. Robin solved 4 more problems than Ben. How many problems did Robin solve? So, Ben solved six problems, and Robin solved four more problems than Ben. So, if Ben solved six, then we would need to show that Robin solved six, and then she solved four more, and now we need to figure out what 6 and 4 equals? 10. 6 plus 4 equals 10. So Robin solved 10 problems. Tamara found 12 ladybugs. Willie found 4 fewer ladybugs than Tamara. How many ladybugs did Willie find? So if Tamara found 12 ladybugs, she found four fewer. So this is how many Willie found, and she found four, Willie found four fewer. So you have to take four away from 12. And this shows that if this one shows 8, then Willie also has the same size. His is 8 as well. So 12 minus 4 equals 8. Willie found 8 ladybugs. This is Willie. This is Tamara. The total number was 12, and we took four away, and our answer was eight. Shanika used 11 blocks to build a house. Julio used five more blocks than Shanika. How many blocks did Julio use? So this shows a tape diagram where Shanika found 11 used 11 blocks, and Julio used five more, so he used 11, and then he used five more. So that's why you add this five here. He used the same number as Shanika, five, I mean 11, and then he added five more blocks. And the total blocks that Julio used is 16. 
11 plus 5 equals 16. So Julio used 16 blocks. Darnell caught 10 fewer fish than Fran. Fran caught 16 fish. How many fish did Darnell catch? So Darnell caught 10 fewer fish than Fran, and she caught 16 fish. So let's look at our tape diagram. So they showed 16 fish for Fran, and Darnell caught 10 fish. Ten fewer fish. So we want to see if Darnell caught ten fewer fish, we take that away, how many is left? How many extra are there? So you're going to do 16 minus 10. Equals 6. So therefore, Darnell caught six fish. Maria found nine flowers in the garden. Kiana found 12 flowers. How many more flowers did Kiana find than Maria? So we want to think about how we can use this to make a tape diagram. Remember to make sure you label Maria and Kiana, so an M and a K. So here's Maria with the M. You want to label your tape diagram. And she picked nine, was it flowers? Yeah, she found nine flowers in the garden. So Maria found nine flowers. Kiana found 12 flowers. So she found nine. And we know the total she found was 12. So the way to figure out how many she found, how many more she found, you can count up from nine to 12. Or you can subtract 12 minus 9. You can do it either way, count up or subtract. So you could subtract 12 minus 9 and it gives you 3. So Kiana found 3 more flowers than Maria. Mikkel baked five pies for the contest. Peter baked three more pies than Nikel. How many pies did Peter bake for the contest? So we have five for Nikel. Nikel did five. And then Peter did five and then three more. So they showed the same size rectangle for five. And then another box with three more, and we need to figure out what's the total for Peter. Five plus three equals eight. Five plus three equals eight. So Peter baked eight pies. All right. That's all for today, friends. I hope you enjoyed our math lesson, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!